if video is not showing up inside of Wirecast, make sure you go to your system preferences, go to Blackmagic Design. You should have installed the drivers before you plugged in your mini recorder or your intensity shuttle. Make sure that they're the most up to date drivers and then just make sure that you set the settings correctly. Ultra Studio Mini Recorder 1. I can go here, I can see the settings. It says Set Input. Here you can choose HDMI Video and HDMI Audio or SDI Video and SDI Audio. SDI is what you would plug in to this part here. Now if your camera does not support SDI, then you can use HDMI in. If your camera does support SDI, I would recommend using SDI. And here you can see you have a couple of more options for things that you can change and adjust. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and close out of Wirecast. So I can come in here and I can adjust the processing. I can adjust the settings. But for right now, I'm going to leave it how it is. I can do the same thing for Intensity Shuttle. Here I can adjust all the outputs, make sure that they're active or not active. I can choose which inputs I want to come in. That way if I have an older camera, maybe I have a camera that doesn't have HDMI out, but it has maybe component out or an S-Video, I can use that camera as well. And here it gives me all of the options. I can adjust the video levels, the audio levels, and I can change my settings however I feel necessary so that I can then use Wirecast for a live three camera broadcast. In fact, if you wanted, you could add a fourth camera and have your FaceTime HD camera shot in there as well. The nice thing about Wirecast is it'll tell you what your CPU uh, usage is, your bandwidth, and the memory being used.